The Homelander is so powerful that throughout the boys, we see Homelander easily punch through doors, concrete, and most often, people. Meaning that our 235 pound or 107 kilogram Homelander, with his insanely hard fist in these instances, is punching with something around the equivalent of 240,000 pounds or 110,000 kilograms of force. Likely having to move his fist to be as fast as, say, a bullet, moving at 1,800 miles miles or 1100 kilometers an hour, because unlike the case of Black Noir, he doesn't always brace them from behind, which would instead see him sending them flying backwards if he punched any slower. With his super fast fist, Homelander also can easily knock off a pressurized door to an airplane during its flight, mechanical locks and all. During flight, these cabin doors are subject to enormous amounts of pressure acting on them from within the pressurized aircraft, especially if they are cruising out altitudes of 33 to 42,000 feet or 10 to 13,000 meters in the air. With something like 1,100 pounds per square foot or 5,300 kilograms per square meter holding the door shut that is also supposed to open with the door swinging inside, Homelander just taps this thing clean off, exerting a force of at minimum 30,000 punching pounds or near 14,000 kilograms if not a little more, making the 520 pounds or 230 kilograms needed to crush a human skull, or the thousands needed to simply toss a man hundreds of feet or heck meters into the air for a six second flight, only to ram through a parked car a block away seem like child's play. When reminiscing in his fake childhood home in upstate New York, Homelander casually throws a baseball out of a barn. That is mentioned to land somewhere in Boston, giving someone a very bad day. And if this prophecy is true, Boston is roughly 200 miles or 300 120 kilometers away, but we don't actually know how long it will take the baseball to get there. But we do know that in order for the ball to even be hypothesized to get there, it has to be going pretty darn fast. So let's throw out a number and say this baseball will crash land through someone's car in about 60 seconds. That estimate would give this killer baseball an average speed of 19,300 kilometers or 12,000 miles per hour. And even if it moves any faster or slower, this thing, if it doesn't just disintegrate from its speed, would still be a superpowered death orb. Later, Homelander sends another baseball, likely the 62 miles or 100 kilometers needed to reach orbit, never to be seen again and ruining his game of catch with his son. While Homelander's full strength is yet to be shown on screen, he is insanely durable. So much so that being crushed by a typical 24,300 pound or 11,000 kilogram 72 passenger bus, with the added four or five tons of concrete only serves to briefly slow him down so everyone can run away. Getting hit square in the family jewels by another super is mildly irritating, and Queen Maeve even jams a metal drinking straw into his ear. And I mean this thing is now puncturing through his ear canal into his extremely delicate eardrum and the tiny bones behind it, which finally manages to draw a bit of blood from the guy, momentarily stunning him. But unfortunately for Maeve, Homelander just pulls it out regaining all of his hearing as if he has some sort of super healing, which he does. As we know, he is clearly impervious to every and any sort of firearm, and likely any explosion you could think to throw at him. As we do see his superiors tell the boys that Homelander's durability is actually much greater than that, as supposedly as a child and through his teenage years, Homelander's creators threw every type of conventional weapon at him and they all failed. However, we don't know if he is immune to bigger things like a hydrogen bomb which supposedly they kept strapped to him as a child to keep him from running away or just attempting to kill everyone. Homelander's ability to fly sees him commonly reaching speeds well above the speed of sound in a few seconds. And the fastest we ever see him physically fly in the series is when he is scouting around the suburbs of New York City looking for Translucent, where his flight speed has been shown to be at Mach 1.51 or near 12,000 miles or just over 1,800 kilometers an hour. But this is likely rather slow for the guy, who could very well travel double the speed if he needed to, as we not only see Homelander pull one heck of a Batman disappearing act in Billy Butcher's apartment the moment he looks away, but in the end of season one, Homelander manages to outpace a C4 explosion, just to save Butcher from his plan that fell through. C4 consists primarily of a chemical molecule called RDX, or cyclotrimethylene trinitramine, one of the most powerful explosives out there. That 
Right upon detonation moves at something like 26,400 feet or just over 8,000 meters per second. This would see Homelander reacting to this situation in less than a fraction of a second, running well over the minimum required 11,200 kilometers or over 18,000 miles an hour to save Butcher's skin. Essentially, Homelander is now moving close to Mach 24, if not a couple more. Stamina wise, Homelander never actually seems to get tired, and if he does, he recovers really quickly, hardly knowing what it's like for a regular human to experience physical exhaustion. One of Homelander's favorite powers seems to be his heat vision. That allows him to easily slice through human bone, warm up milk, and go through any sort of aluminum like an airplane like a hot knife through butter. And like Butcher, Homelander could likely burn through Soldier Boy's shield. It just might take him some time. We know that Soldier Boy's shield is so heavy that no normal human can manage to lift it even a few centimeters. And while the shield could be made out of steel, giving both its melting point and something of a cap to how hot Homelander's heat vision can get, being upwards of over 1500 degrees Celsius or 2800 degrees Fahrenheit, it's also likely that Soldier Boy's shield is made out of something with a higher melting point like tungsten. This would give the shield's melting point and Homelander's heat vision a temperature of just over 3400 degrees Celsius or 6200 degrees Fahrenheit. The Homelander is also known to have X-ray vision, with him likely being able to see things much more clearly than normal humans at distances quite far away. Or we can assume standing on the ground, Homelander can easily see 3 miles or 4.8 kilometers outwards and no further due to the curvature of the Earth, with zinc being the only metal that he can't see through, which could imply that Homelander has a low energy X-ray vision that basically has less penetrating power and makes it harder to see things clearly, especially if he's looking through dense objects than if he had high energy X-ray vision. Or his X-ray vision could still be great and he just can't see through zinc because of the plot. Homelander's hearing is so good that he is able to detect Stan Edgar's exact blood pressure from the other side of the seven meeting room. No one better talk trash about him unless you have a city between the two of you and he's not actively listening in. And he can possibly track someone down through their scent alone, or at the very least tell everywhere that they've been and who they've been around for the last 24 hours, as he easily smells Queen Maeve's sleepover with Billy Butcher. But as powerful as Homelander is, he does have his own weaknesses and limitations. Just like my weakness to macadamia nuts and broccoli, we do see that like Omni-Man, Homelander's hearing is extremely sensitive, as the boys manage to rig up a bunch of long-range speakers that manage to harm him and cripple his son. And psychologically, he is incredibly traumatized, easily angered, narcissistic, harbors some really deep-seated fears and insecurities, and exhibits sociopathic behaviors, along with him having some severe control issues. And all of this has created some serious opposition to the guy, while at the same time has pushed away anyone and everyone who would possibly want to help him in a time of crisis. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved an interesting fact for last. In addition to his super longevity, Homelander can create a sonic scream, and he is thought to be able to fly freely in space, giving him something of a chance against heroes like Omni-Man. With us going over Omni-Man's feats and powers for you to compare in this video. See you in the next one.